Good morning. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's Saturday, Memorial Day weekend, 2021. It is still raining out. As you can see, I'll do a better look. You can see my jacket. It just ran in from the hotel. Um, luckily, this tent is a real tent, fully covered. Um, so when we get there, all should be well. It's just a matter of getting there <laughs> and staying warm and dry. So I'll check in when we get there. Bye. I forgot that I left you guys off last night saying I had no underwear. <laughs> Um, I still don't have any underwear. I'm gonna call my dad. I actually yesterday I um, I forgot books. I forgot my chair. I forgot underwear. I forgot a lot of things. I'm having a rough a rough go. Um, but I'm gonna call my dad. We're gonna see how he reacts. He's gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> Question. So, are you think? Do you think you're gonna be able to uh, come today? Okay, because it's raining here. Um, so I forgot those books. So you have those, right? Okay. Um, I forgot some other things too. Um, I forgot underwear. So you're gonna have to go buy that. I'm gonna have to go buy it. Okay. Here, big old tent over there. Let's get to my booth and see if everything is still standing. We park down there, walk in this way to the tent. Everything is still standing. Phew. Very, very relieved that my bookshelves did not fall over. I was having trouble sleeping. I was very worried, but all was well. Now I need to get the booth um, unwrapped up and put my display up. We had a little bit of flooding, so they put some mulch down, but my booth is all set up. Everything mostly stayed dry. <laughs> Talking to her, so she can show her and then certain things start to happen. She realizes she makes it crazy. Thanks over Russia. Turns people into superhuman monsters. This is paranormal, but a young boy in a fishing village is part of the world. This is a secret And he has to save himself in the town. So it's paranormal threat. He actually has to save his children. So, it's on the Anastasia story. Here, a man made a stone bridge and he goes on the quest to find the owner, but it's all turned around and he's creatures from and he has to save himself in the town from a paranormal threat he accidentally unleashes. So there's a spooky, a lot of magic. This one, humans evolve into the elements, earth, fire, water, air. Back. Right, so you're gonna have to reach out and let me know how you like them, okay? I have a lot of readers your age that email me and I, it makes my day every time they do. So we are, that's okay. That's what makes the world a beautiful place. Enjoy. 
It was a great success. Forgot to show my packed up booth, but we are heading back to the car. Uh, got my hot chocolate. Great day. Oh, take a look at this. Underwear delivery. Dad pulled through. He probably went like this, shut his eyes, reached into the drawer, caught some, threw him into a little Ziploc baggie, but now I've got underwear for the next two days. End of day one, it was a great day. Despite the rain, lots of people came out. It was good energy, good vibe, uh, really fun time, and I can't wait to come back tomorrow. Uh, thinking, talking is really hard. It's been a long, It's been a long, day. cold, wet day, but it was an awesome, but long, cold, wet day. So. Oh <laughs> so. Stop. So. I will keep you posted. I'll check in tomorrow. I'm probably going to check in again tonight. This video is probably not over yet, despite me wrapping it up. Probably videotape our food, probably uh, videotape our hotel room. Maybe I'll videotape uh, if anything funny happens. If not, this will be the end of the video. I guess we'll find out. And now it's time to eat. time not the greatest view but that's the Hudson River over there with beautiful green rolling mountain hills surrounding it maybe I'll get a better view tomorrow good morning it is Sunday of Memorial Day weekend uh, we're getting ready to go over to the show uh, the rain forecast isn't looking great today uh, it's going to be around 90% to 100% rain the whole day. But hey, people came out yesterday. It was fantastic. So maybe they'll all come out again today. And then tomorrow looks great. Looks like it's sunshine and it's 60s all day. Looking forward to that. But for now, let's see how Sunday goes and uh, get on the road. Walk into my booth. My mom's back there somewhere. I don't see her, but a uh, booth right ahead of me. We parked a little closer today. Booth or the tent. We're laying down hay in front of my booth to try to help with the mud. Everything's all set up. I've got my own hay here to start doing this. Alright, we got mom manning the booth. I'm gonna go take a walk around, see what we got here. Look at this beautiful setup. This one, or even these ones. This one is about juniper. She is the trees are talking to her. She's like, this is really young, isn't it? But then supernatural things are happening. She realizes elements of nature. And I'm trying to go backwards and write their childhood stories at the end. So that works by itself. This works by itself. And over here, 
humans evolve into the elements, earth, fire, water, air. And over here, dark, dark urban gothic thriller about a futuristic addiction that takes over Russia, turns people into superhuman monsters, and you follow the dark story of hope and a reminder that tough times can make you stronger, kinder, and wiser. And this one's all about sharing kindness, so it's a nice little story about making friends by being kind. And if you want to pick one up, you can take a look at the pictures if you want. Really well to do it and they have the young adult novels and adult novels, so like, these would be in the YA. But she, she can find them all there. This one, this one is about humans evolving into the elements, earth, fire, water, air. He follow the main character on a futuristic Alice in Wonderland like adventure and tries to save the world. So more futuristic. We're on this one. That's book three. So this one's about Juniper. She thinks the trees are talking to her. Like, this is crazy. I'm going to it. But then supernatural things happen and she realizes she's not as crazy as she thought. So it's like a fun, like, nature so you can kind of watch the world unravel around them. So that's a good one for boys. And I have boys. I had a boy just yesterday that was really into this one. He hasn't read yet, but this one's about Juniper. She thinks the trees are talking to her. Mm -hmm. In this series, there's champion women. So they represent different elements in nature. She's the whole city. So proud of her. So, like nature magic, dystopia, heaven. Here, this one is about Juniper. She thinks the trees are talking to her. She's like, this is crazy, I'm losing it. But then supernatural things start happening. So we put a tarp down back here, but you can see the mud is coming through anyway. The hay is definitely helping. Definitely helping. We're all packed up. I have my goodies that I bought. She got some goodies. Can't see what they are, but there's, there's a, lot of goodies. a lot of treasures in there. As you can see, the um, everything is packed away to the best of our ability. And it's time to go. I got my rain gear on. <laughs> look how stupid another wet one. Look how stupid I look. <laughs> we are traversing the mud to get back to the van. End of day two. It was a wet one. But we made it through. Pretty good day. Uh it really did rain the whole day, so uh considering there was a lot of rain, it was actually a Pretty good day. Where's Carolyn and her polka dot umbrella? Okay, we're almost in the car. Back on gravel, back on grass, back on gravel. End of day three. We're back in the car. Everything is covered in mud. Um, rainy day, very rainy, um, but pretty good crowd considering. Uh, but we're heading back to Newburgh, which is where we're staying in New York, to get food, to get dried up, and to get some good sleep, because tomorrow's supposed to be nice, and we're excited for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. All right. Goodbye, show. You can see people have been camping out as well. We considered that, didn't we, Mom? We did. We considered <laughs> camping. Probably a split second. A good choice that we did not take that route. I do appreciate the heat at a hotel room at the end of the day. And hot tub and shower. Yeah. You can see how the clouds are starting to clear. Just goes to show tomorrow is gonna be a beautiful day. It's a soup night. It's a soup night. Yum. This is the Hudson. There's beautiful rolling green hills over there somewhere. Back at the hotel. Back in the... What is this? Uh, a liter of Diet Coke outside our room. Weird. Do you think it's a bomb or something? <laughs> 
seriously, <laughs> give me your fucking flashlight. Don't curse this is going on YouTube. No, it's not going on YouTube. Is, That's why I'm doing it. She lost her phone. She dropped it. She says it's gone forever. I don't know if it's gone forever. We're going to find out now. Well, it's not back there. Unless it went. No, that, that's solid. <laughs> what? Where could, where could it have gone? Ow. Why don't you call it and see where it rings? I think it's down there. I heard it. It's not. Yellow case? No. It has to be. It's not. It's where not could it have gone? It literally fell from here. Did it just bounce this way? No. <laughs> oh. oh I don't know where could it be. She dropped her phone. I heard it hit metal. Oh no, where could it be? You're an ass. <laughs> I'm so glad you found it. <laughs> Lost forever. It is day three of the show, Monday of Memorial Day weekend. We are about to drive over to the space. Um, gotta, it's supposed to be nice today, so it's not raining, which is great. Uh oh. What happened? Uh, Carolyn's running over curbs. <laughs> <laughs> we are leaving the hotel. It's not raining. Everything's a little wet still, but it's not raining. So that's awesome. And I think the sun's coming out later. So uh, excited to get over there and hopefully a lot of people come out today. And we're the last day and then we're gonna head out. Just kidding. We need to get gas first. Uh, we're in New York, so I gotta pump it. I think I used this one. It was the red one. We're all gassed up and ready to go, and now we are on our way to the market. This one's all about tree conversion. These trees are turning into different effects. Like, this is crazy, I'm losing it. But then supernatural things start happening, and she realizes that she might not be as crazy as she thought. I wonder how cool. I was just, I was not expecting yeah. that. <laughs> I, uh, I just put this veil of fire. That's actually kind of new. Like, yeah. So this one would be great. This one would be like the spooky magic. That's a good one. She told you this is like 4,000 years later. Okay. Origin stories for that. So do you want? And this one is paranormal about a young boy that moves to a fishing village. He gets caught in a world of mystical secrets and magic. So he has to save himself in the town from a paranormal threat he accidentally unleashes. One, two, three. Throughout this series, you get to meet all these champion women who represent different elements of nature. It's the last day of the show. I forgot to do a hello, we're here video, but uh, it's been busy, it's been awesome, lots of great people. Monday. Uh, one of the, there's a seven women in this series, so I'm going backwards and writing all of them little origin stories. Oh, this one's all about sadness and learning you're strong enough to get through tough times. And this one here is about sharing kindness. I'm going back and writing each of them in their own little trilogy that leads into that. This year, the humans evolving into the elements, earth, fire, water, air, and they follow the main character and features of Alice in Wonderland like adventures who try to save the world. Uganda and her family is fleeing from the militia that recruits child soldiers. So the tour the story of survival. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, oh you have to have her reach out or have her will reach out and let me know. Yeah. Mud on everything. This one, humans evolve into the elements of fire, water, air, and you follow the main character on a future of the awesome game. Uh, I, I honestly don't want to know. <laughs> it's been a lot. I've been writing since 2009. And uh, I'm going backwards and writing each of the girls an origin story. So all seven women. You meet Juniper to start, and then I did Eshi. Everyone's gonna get a little trilogy just like this. So their childhood leading into. So this is three series. Yep, and that can be just by itself. You don't ever have to go backwards. This could be. You can start here and then jump forward. You can go here and then you can go backwards. Yeah. 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 
kindness flowers that she's exposed instead of two. And then this one's also fun if you like high fantasy world building. But a man made a stone to find a lot of made glass. He's used to breaking things, so he's not sure what to do. And he goes on the quest to find the owner, but it's all turned around and these creatures from different lands and like to move. And this one, humans evolve into the elements, earth, fire, water, air, and you follow the main character on the future of Alice in Wonderland adventure. She tries to save the world, trying her to fall in love with. So if she's like, if you love Okay. And this one's paranormal about a young boy that moves to a fishing village and gets caught in the world of mystery. Fabulous day at Quail Hollow Arts Festival. We are now packing up my booth and heading home. Deconstructing my booth. run these through the washer. It's a lot of jigsawing boxes to break everything down. So now I gotta take all those boxes, put them on these tables to get that tablecloth off. It's a puzzle. This one also needs to be washed. Time to take down the banner. One of the unspoken parts of breaking down a booth is nails breaking. My nails are horrible. They're always breaking. Time for me to do this bad boy. Mom's got the tarps. Good luck with that. pushing all these up to this. But don't do that because they gotta be the right size. Um, like for example, you could put these little ones on top of here now because I'm gonna push these size boxes up to this. I need to clean the bottom of this box as it was sitting on the ground. So we got some paper towels. Oh my God, it's so wet. Yeah, I could put the tarp down, I guess. No. Is it dry? Yep. Okay. It's beautiful out today. Oh 
almost done. The car is all packed. You can't even see past all this, but there's everything is in the van right now. Okay, mom needs the boots pulled off of her feet. She needs help. Okay. Dad. Oh, wait, wait, get my heel out first. Ow. Oh, out of my tootsies hurt. Thanks, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That dirty. Do the napkins up there? Oh no, we used them all. We didn't use the whole paper towel roll. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You can keep going. We didn't get stuck in the mud. That was a big fear that the van would not make it out. But we are on our way. Today was great. Lots of people, lots of sunshine. A fantastic day. My neck's a little bit sore from loading out, but I'll be all right. It was an awesome show. Even despite the rain, so many people came out. It was really great. Uh, good energy, good people. Uh, I found this. this. This pretty much sums up the weekend. <laughs> Books and mud. Until Labor Day weekend. See you then. We're making a quick pit stop so she can get a key lime pie from a little farmer's market down the road. Uh, apparently it closes at 6.30 so we might not be getting key lime pie. That's the farmer's market where the Famous key lime pie, apparently is. She got her key lime pie, success. It's time to hose off the hand truck, which I actually already did. So that's why it's clean. Uh, the tarp and get everything unpacked from the van. Is he grandpa? And those shouldn't be too dirty.
Righty tighty left. Oh. That's a good boy. Working for Bubba. Yeah. Say okay. hey, bye. Bye, Bubba. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, go ahead and I'll close these doors. All right, Bubba, down. Uh, See ya. Thank you. All done.